Hello and welcome back to the demonstration of a new Bitwig extension I created which I call the multi-sample generator and what is that about? You might have noticed that Bitwig by now is a very powerful sampler and it also supports multi-samples and I have a lot of multi-samples but not in the format of Bitwig. So I have all my samples in the format of contact and I sample them over the years from different instruments or also plugins. For example, if I go here into synth and some leads, you see there is always a sample folder and here are the contact sounds. And if you go in the folder, for example, the first one, you see a lot of WAV files, which contain encoded here in the name, the actual note, which was sampled and what we would like to create from such a bunch of WAV files, Bitwig multi-sample. Bitwig's multi-sampler can and do it already so if you pull in these WAV files into the sampler it gives you the option to auto map also the sample but if you have lots of samples uh, like I have hundreds of them you don't want to use it for each and every sample on your own so it's nice to have a tool for that and this is what I created the multi sample generator if you add the extension you will find it here under add uh, utilities multi-sample multi-generator here it is i already added that so what you need to do is you need to select your source folder for example let's pick the folder i just showed you let's say ba -ba -ba -bum, sounds and, and i select the whole lead folder so the idea is you can convert all that you could also say i want to convert everything if you go out there but this takes a while then and let's start simple maybe with just one sample the o.1 emerson 70 samples okay let's take that and let's say where we want to take this so so let's just create on a desktop here let's say i need a new folder let's just call that conversion and this should now also turn up here on the desktop there is a conversion folder okay if on your os maybe on linux i'm not sure if those select buttons work you can also copy it simply here in that field and this should also work nicely so that's basically everything you need to set up then you can press on execute and you will see here on a screen first it tells you which sounds it found if you have multiple structures and then it actually issues the conversion and since this goes very fast it will also get locked to the console to the script console if you just select the multi-sample generator here you will see okay we are detecting here then this sample is analyzed and then it's converted so let's have a look at that here in the conversion folder you see here is now the new multi-sample and we can improve that a bit uh, with some settings if you look here you will see you have the option to add creator tags if none is found of your tags it uses the default creator in this case uh, my name is set but you can definitely change it up here and what I use is for example as you see uh, this one was sampled from a cork OW1 and um, this would be maybe nice to have to say I want to have here the OW1 as a creator so all the sounds with include that tag will then be tagged with that as well you could go on for example if we go back to here you will see there are more different stuff for example fm8 kawaii k1 you could add this too if you just comma separate it for example fm8 k1 and so and so on and so forth and these will all then be set as a creator if you select multiple devs of folders you can say you want also to have created the folder structure um, this is normally also set on but here if I selected that there is no folder structure above if I would select here on a synth level and say okay convert all that then I would get uh, in my destination folder also a lead folder a techno folder and a classic waveforms folder which then would contain the sounds that were found in here namely these up 
here. So next one is you can create a crossfade. If there is no crossfade, just the boundaries are uh, are mapped as they are. But you can say between two ranges, I want to have a crossfade, for example, of let's say three nodes. If there is no range of three nodes, it will just use then the maximum nodes which is possible. And there is an option to remove a kind of a post fix uh, text. For example, here you see it's O1 Emerson blah blah. And there is this strange MS001 which got created by some robot for, for layer identification. And you can say you want to remove that as well. And then you can have here a list of postfix codes which get automatically removed. There's also a safety feature. If you press execute now, it tells you that the output folder is not empty and it will then not overwrite anything. So if we clear that folder again, you can run the conversion again and now you will see as well that the end was removed here. Going back to Bitwig, we could check that. So let's remove that. Let's add a, a no, we don't do not even need to add a sampler. We can simply drag and drop that in here. We will get the sampler and you will see all the found samples are mapped nicely. And now let's also check for the crossfade. Go here and you see that also the crossfade was applied between the different samples in our sample set. And you see it's ready to play. And uh, now you can also say I do not only want to convert one, you want to convert multiple ones. So let's step up. Let's say we want to convert all the sounds in the synth folder. Clear that up and let's start executing. So now this will take a while. You see it analyzes all that stuff, what it can found. You can follow that here as I said in the analyze uh, in the controller script folder and uh, after the analyzing is finished it will convert your values you will see there can also be problems for example the current implementation does not support multiple layers only one layer so if that is found if you found for example two c2 uh, samples it will not do the conversion for you also there could be problems that a file is is broken or it could not read sample information from it then this will also lock out the information for you so you can check that and try to improve that also what is not supported is if you have left and right uh, samples so two mono samples you need to convert that before that to stereo samples there are also tools for that out there we can which can automatically process that so far I do not support that in that tool yeah so then for left right samples you will also get that error of found a duplicate midi notes and you cannot convert it so after a while this was quite some stuff so this one is finished so let's see what the output was and as you see now in the conversion folder we will now also have that folder structure we created so the synth and the classic waveforms lead and if you go in there you will find also your converted multi samples and um, what is worth mentioning if you might be worried now if that you cannot access your wave samples anymore because it's in a proprietary format. That's actually not the case because this multi sample file is nothing else than a simple zip file. So you can simply rename the ending, say I want to have this as a zip file or simply use a tool which can open any file type. So for example, with 7-zip I could open that that zip file and there you see in the zip file are simply all the WAV files included so you still have access to your WAV files and there is one XML file which contains the description of your file. We could also take a look at that one. That's also quite a simple format which is supported. So you see the creator was detected, the OW01W, which I said also the category gets detected. It tries to look up different names like lead, piano and all these things from the name. If the name doesn't give you any text of that, it will also try to 
use a folder. For example, our folder is named lead. So uh, as you see, the 01 vintage does not contain any idea of lead, but then it uses the name lead from the synth folder. Also, I try to detect keywords. They are also work the same. First, the name is checked for any keywords, then the folders in which it is. And here we detected the keyword vintage. Then you see all the sample mappings, the looping points and so on. So pretty simple format and maybe you also want to come up with any tool which does stuff with that. So maybe that's helpful for you to know how that works. Okay, so much for the introduction to that new tool. I hope it gets handy for you and you can create some cool samples from it, some multi samples and when you're done, make some funky music.